And how, how does your cadence work? I know we've spoken a bit about um, length and partials and things. Is it yeah. one second up, 10 down, uh, five down? Yeah, for a fixed weight, I've always been a fan of rapid concentric and controlled easing. I've also never used isometrics for anyone other than a gymnast, pretty much, yeah. purely because it's not specific to what they do. Whereas sure. for a gymnast, it is. A gymnast needs isometric strength. They need to be able to tolerate the isometric contraction and hold it steady. So that's part of their training. But for everybody else, it's concentric easing without the isometric stuff. And yeah, it's, it's explosively up and slowly controlled on the way down. And I've never really rethought that or looked at that again. I mean, I've read papers over the years and nothing ever stuck out to me that suggested that that was wrong and I should suggest anything different to an athlete. And so I've just always gone with that. Yeah, I, th I think it's probably, from what I see, there is crossover. It doesn't necessarily matter entirely if you do fast or slow reps, broad leaking, but if you're an elite athlete, if you've got to throw hoops, well, your best bet's going to be launching it as quickly as possible under a game setting, not early kind of gliding it up, you know, for, for, mm. for the hoops. It's not, it's not going to work out. But um, I've looked at some research, which is kind of looking at one, four, and 10 second concentrics. And mm. I thought, think they also match the eccentrics. Um, they found four seconds safer and 10 seconds again, even safer than that. Um, I found that very helpful for myself to reduce damage, wear and tear and things like that and injury. And my my joints have honestly not better. So obviously I use good technique anyway, but if I can use good technique but then control it in the the bottom of a hack squat, I've got a two to three second pause down there. Okay, well I know it's gonna be my quads activating to get me to the top, not my spine, my vertebrae, my spinal column mm -hmm. flexing round to try and, you know, use momentum. It's a different goal altogether. I'm not trying to create any and I'm trying to eliminate all of it. I mean yeah. has that has that been something you found totally useful? I know you sort of said, you know, as slow as possible. Is, is that five seconds, 10 seconds down? I it does feel like a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. It's not for the patient, most patient people. I get most people on a five, two and five second kind of cadence. The two being the isometric at the hardest point. So you're not locking it out and holding it two seconds or you're shaking at the bottom for two, two seconds. But um, I don't guess people the best safety element. But um, for me, doing it even slower than that seems to be beneficial okay. um getting my brother on it as well he's doing some hack squats he snapped his shin and broke his knee um so he's doing slow hack squats we'll sit full range of motion again so we're still promoting that but yeah i mean i, I one of the main benefits i found i know we're rambling on, on about it but now but is the timing side of this you know 10 seconds is always going to be 10 seconds so if i'm saying okay, standardize your reps and i want you to standardize your reps one two two. Well, the first rep might be five seconds they might rush a few of the middle ones and get to the last one and all of a sudden they do a 10 second slow <laughs> one sort of thing yeah. that's my problem i so what i do is i literally have my phone in front of me i put it on the ground wait until it says an even number here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one, two, three. And that sets my pace, my standard. So therefore, I know every rep that I do is going to be about the same. Because I'm only doing three or four reps, I'm looking at the clock and thinking, okay, I've got to get about 80 seconds or whatever it happens to be. And I last got 83 seconds. We can get 84 seconds. Um, so that's, it gives me a bit, it gives me an extra goalpost thing to look at. Was if I'm just doing 10 reps in one week, I've rushed it. I've paused it up. I've, I've not standardized my form. So mm. I've, I've risked injury, which is, Saying yeah. obviously someone like myself, I don't want to be seen risking injury because it's like well, it's your own fault, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then of course cadence absolutely affects the overall training effect as well. So if you're doing it differently every time, then how are you going to know or, or be able to predict training response? I mean, at the end of the day, as a bodybuilder, the response is the thing you're looking for. So you need mm. to to get decent feedback in terms of your your hypertrophy for growth and you need to be able to train to change your cadences around in such a way as to be able to experiment with that and work out what's best for you and if you're not standardizing like Jonathan's just been talking about then you've got no hope so it makes sense what are you what you're saying there mm. yeah it's it's been good to chat I mean you covered a lot of topics today and um hopefully we can go into more detail next time but and um, what I'll do is I'll link your video to your five health hacks below the most updated one um, nice. What I'll also do is link your services page, so all your stuff, Patreon, all that sort of thing. Um, cool. And also link to your YouTube channel page. We'll collaborate again soon to talk about something else that's particularly useful, but probably Can't over wait. the top. <laughs> Can't wait. Sounds good, Jonathan. Check out my site at Composition.com for your journey to peak 
performance and optimal health begin. With a degree in human nutrition and over 15 years of training experience, I've guided more than 400 carnivores to not just me, but exceed their physique and perform goals. Through personalized consultations, comprehensive ebooks, and dedicated coaching, I'm here to ensure your success. Join the ranks of those who have transformed their lives. It's time to align your physique goals with positive health outcomes. Visit compositionconsultant.com today and take the first step towards the best version of